Check this out. Family portrait. Well, they ain't family, but they're members of the horror icon family. Check that out. That looks badass. Yes, sir. Alright, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Feeling the horror vibes creeping back in again. So it's time to bring you some horror madness. And as promised, I'm going to show you some more of the custom sweater for the Sideshow Freddy Krueger figure. Now, the sweater that he came with was terrible. I hate it. And I've always hated it. So... I had to uh, put up some cash to get this custom sweater that I saw on Facebook randomly one day. And um, here's your contact info. Oh God, get this sticker out of the way. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's who you contact. You've got your email, the website. Uh, they are on Facebook as well. If you search this, can't pronounce it, I'm terrible. Uh, but that's who you need to get in touch with if you want yourself some custom sweater action now when I initially made the video on this when I first put it on the figure I was very impressed but I was incorrect when I said that it was an inaccurate amount of green stripes uh, it is inaccurate for anything you know like Nightmare on Elm Street 1, 2, 3, 4 um, it's actually meant to be from Freddy vs Jason and the guy who made this or well, the people who made this I'm still not 100% sure but he sent me a chart, a Freddy sweater chart, and it's the most handy thing I've ever seen. I need to go back into my messages and actually see if I can find that again. There's just this chart of Freddy sweater from every Freddy appearance in films. And sure enough, this is accurate to Freddy vs. Jason. So I'm still after the accurate Freddy uh, from, you know, Freddy's Revenge. <laughs> yeah. I'll speak. Freddy's Revenge Part 2. That's my favorite uh, look for Freddy. So, but this will do until then, and it's certainly better than the stock one, which is now in the little bag accessory that came with Freddy's custom sweater from these good folks here. So, anyway, uh, I'll be bringing you more horror stuff uh, over the next few days. Been moving some stuff about, reposing things. This looks really cool. Those are the Dean Knight exclusive coveralls that Tanila made for me using material that I found and sent to her. And the Blackest Eyes version 2 head sculpt by One's Customs. Speaking of head sculpts by One's Customs, uh, I want a cool little new pose here for 2007 Rob Zombie Myers. Awesome. But yeah, there's uh, stuff to talk about in the future regarding Michael Myers stuff. One thing I just did now, literally about 10 minutes ago, I just thought, screw it, I need to do it. And um, I'm sure one's fine with stuff like this. I just literally just wanted him to look a little bit blacker in the in the eye mask holes. I wanted them to be more, you know, like I did with the life-size one. Uh, before I did anything to that, you could see his eyes plain as day. They were really obvious, and I just don't want that. I want the blackest eyes kind of thing, you know, just two black holes, two voids, you know, into hell via his mask. <laughs> So I literally just got some uh, black paint and some white paint and mixed it together because uh, you don't want it to be jet black because it's too obvious. But I did darken around his eyes so the eyelids and the skin around the eyes I did kind of paint that a darker color to conceal it more but the good thing is I didn't paint his eyeballs so um, in this light you can't really see it but trust me that's what I like about it because you have to look for his eyes now but they are in there. I might as well just take it off. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see, eyes are still very much there. Very much there. Nothing has been done to the eyes. But in normal lighting uh, situations, you can't see them. Just two black holes. And that is the desired effect I really wanted. So this figure is just looking so much better now. Just been messing around with the hair a little bit. Anyway, I'm getting carried away talking about Michael Myers. I, just, I love that thing so much. But let's get back to the reason we're here. That's awesome too. I want to talk about that more, but <laughs> it's a Freddy video. So Freddy is what we shall see now. More Michael Myers stuff coming, guys. It's coming real soon. But for now, let's repose this guy with the new sweater and see how that turns out. Let's put him to the test. Let's give him the treatment. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Oh, something else. This is my, and I really like the way this is looking, because I messed with the hair. That is uh, the professionally repainted trick-or-treat mask that I had done from Mike in Germany, amazing artist, and that's the guy to go to if you want one of them repainted. Uh, <laughs> the hair on this is looking a little bit Funkatronic right now. It looked good before, now it looks really silly. I just like the way the hair is now, the way it's kind of like all messy. It's like a mix between Rob Zombie's uh, Michael Myers mask and the original 78. Because you've still got the original 78 kind of mask, but it, the hair... Just kind of makes me think of Rob Zombie. 
Anyway. Brandon Lee. Respect. <laughs>